们上课喽。Hello, hi everyone. Good morning. It's Eileen here. Welcome back to the channel. I am Eileen, and it's good to be here today. This is our day four. Yeah, we have been online on the broadcasting for four days. And how are you today? I am very good today. And you?、Mm -hmm. And hopefully, you all have a very good. Day today, yeah. Okay, so let's get started. And there is one thing. Okay, attention, everyone. All right. So you might feel there is something different, right? So usually you can type, leave messages here on the comment section, but I switch off. Okay, no more, because I want you. To pay more attention on the lesson, so that's why you cannot leave any messages today. All right, so that will help your learning, I believe. Okay, and then number two, of course, you can always press like, okay, under it, and share the video so that more people can watch and learn. We can all learn together. All right, so let's start the lesson today. So we we have your daily English, right? So let's take a look. What do we learn before? Do we do you remember? I said I'm going to give you a test, right? So do you remember what do we have yesterday? Okay, so it's do you want to play? Do you want to play? Yeah, and then if your teacher or your friends, your mom and dad, they ask you, "Do you want to play?" and you can say, "Yeah!" Right? Because we all want to play games. Or you can just say, "Yes, yes." Okay. So in Chinese would be, uh huh. So that's yeah or okay. Yes, both are fine. All right. So how about our English daily English today? Let's take a look. Welcome to your daily English. Can I borrow your pencil? Sure. Here you are. Can I borrow your pencil? Yeah. See you all again tomorrow. Bye. Okay. So, do you remember it? Can I borrow your pencil? Sure. Here you are. All right, so this is our of、uh, your daily English. Okay, so the sentence "Can I borrow your pencil?" So you can say "Sure, here you are."、So、this is your pencil. Sure, here you are. Or you can just simply say, it, "Okay, okay." All right. So again, repeat after me. All right. Can I borrow your pencil? Sure, here you are. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Or you can just say okay, right? So do you remember? Good. And this is the book, okay? And then the reading book. I think is a very interesting book. You all enjoy it, I believe. Okay, it's called Close Line Clues. So close line here. This line. If you don't have a drying machine at home. You will have to you will have to dry the clothes outside, right? And usually you will have the line to hang the clothes. You see that? So these we call clothes lines. And how about clue? Clue is something that I want you to guess to remind you what that is. So for example, okay. So I'll give you a clue, and you tell me 
what it is. Okay, so it is an animal, and it can fly. An animal, and it can fly. So that is my clue. So what do you think the answer is? Okay, yes. Okay, it's a bird, right? So this book is called Close Line Clues to Jobs People Do by Kathleen Hallin and Deborah Hembrook, illustrated by Andy Robert Davis. It's a very interesting book. I like the drawing, right? Really, really cute. Okay, so let's take a look. Close line clues to jobs people do by Katherine Healing and Deborah Hembrook, illustrated by Andy Robert Davies. Look at the clotheslines and see every clue. Who uses these things for the jobs that they do? So who uses these things for jobs they do? Okay, it will show you what other things. On the book. Let's see. Uniform and cap, an invite for you. Big bag of letters. What job does she do? So uniform and cap. This is the uniform, right? It's a shirt and pants and cap. An invite for you. Invite you. All right. So and then big bag of letters. These are the letters. What job does she do? Okay, so you can still answer my question. Don't forget that. Although maybe you cannot type, you can always write, right? So you can get a note, write your answer down, and then check the answer with me afterwards. Okay, so let's see. What is the answer? What is she? What jobs does she do? She is a mail carrier. Ah, a mail carrier. See, a mail carrier will deliver, will give you the letters. Milk pail and straw hat, overalls in blue, plaid shirt, bandana. What job does he do? Oh, well, milk pail. This is the milk pail. And straw hat. A hat was made from straw. Okay, and then overalls in blue. This is this kind of clothes we call overalls. Okay, so just like pants, shorts, it needs the S. So overalls in blue. Plate shirt. Okay, this is the plate shirt. This kind of patterns. Ben bandana. So this is the bandana, just like handkerchief yeah so a bandana when you feel hot you can wipe the sweat off or if you sneeze cover your mouth Achoo! okay so yeah that is bandana so what jobs does he do what is your answer huh what do you think mm -hmm. write it down he is a farmer. A farmer. He's a farmer. You see him? A farmer? Okay, grow crops, right? Remember what we taught on our first day. And uh, this is a mail carrier. Yes. So let's see the next question, the next one. Next job. Oven mitts, apron, recipe for stew, puffy hat and whisk. Whoop job does he do okay so oven mitts these we call oven mitts you don't want to burn yourself you have to wear the oven mitts so because things in the oven is quite hot okay. and apron your mom is cooking she always wear the apron right and recipe this is the recipe tell you how to cook like step one step two and what do you need for cooking for stew Stew is different way of cooking. So you can fry, fry, and then you can stew. And then puffy hat. So this is a puffy hat. 
and the whisk. This is the whisk, right? A whisk, you can fit the egg. Mm -hmm. Or making cakes, you will need the whisk. So what jobs does he do? So what do you think? What is your answer? He is a chef. He is a chef. So then some of you would wonder, mm, Eileen, what is the difference between a cook and a chef? Yeah, we learn the cook in our book, right? So a cook is someone who prepares and cook food, like uh, your mom or everyone prepare food and cook food at home. Okay, and then a chef is a trained cook. The chef is someone who learned how to cook special dishes and who works in a hotel or a restaurant. So that is a chef. But do you listen to what I say? I say chef, not chef. So although you see here, it's spelled C-H, right? But we say sh chef, not chef. So he is a chef. Smock, bringet, and brushes, paint of every hue. Canvas and easel, what job does he do? Smock, okay, this is a smock, the clothes that you can wear when you like a drawing. You might have paint on your shirt. You don't want that, right? So you might wear a smock and beret. Here, this is a kind of hat, okay, it's called beret. And brushes, do you find brushes here? Pens of every hue. Canvas, this is a canvas. If you paint, you need a canvas to paint on. And easel, this is an easel. So what job does he do? What do you think? Do you have your answer? He is an artist. An artist. An artist. So remember what we learned yesterday. When the words after a uh and n, if that is a, a e i o u, the vowel, you need to say n. So he is an artist. Oh, and what is she again? She is a mail carrier. Good. Well done. Coveralls, tool belt, work gloves, and glue. Safety glasses saw. What job does she do? So coveralls, these are coveralls. And tool belt. Can you find a belt over here? Work gloves. Gloves, when you work to protect your hands. Okay, you have to wear the work gloves. And glue, here. Glue, yes. Safety glasses. Uh, can you find safety glasses? Okay, here. To protect your eyes. And saw. So what job does she do? We learned the word yesterday. Do you remember? She is a carpenter. A carpenter. Did you get it right? And do you see the mail carrier over here? Heavy pants, helmet, wide suspenders too. Rescue coat, long hose. What job does she do? Heavy pants. Okay, these are heavy pants. Helmet. Helmet. Wide suspenders. This is a suspenders. Rescue coat. Long host on the right. So what jobs? What job does she do? Do you have the answer? She is a firefighter. A firefighter. And then, wow, the mail carrier here again. Spacesuit and jetpack, star charts to review, flight gloves and moon boots. What job does she do? Spacesuit. This is a spacesuit. Jetpack. Jetpack over here. Star charts. The star chart. This is a chart and then a star. some stars on it to review. Light gloves. So we have gloves to work. Work gloves. And here is the flight gloves and moon boots. So you know what job is, right? We learned the word the other day. 
She is an astronaut. Astronaut. Again, an artist and astronaut. These clues are all clues to jobs people do. Is one of these jobs just right for you? So maybe in the future you have you don't you don't know what you want to do. You can think about these jobs that you want to do. So that is our book called Closing Lines, Closing Line Clues to Jobs People Do. If you want to watch the video again, you can just type Close Line Clues to Jobs People Do. Then you can find the book. You can listen to it again and again. All right. So now get back to our book. So do you have the book? Yeah. Do you already have the book? And like I said before. If you don't have a book, that is okay. You can always just get a uh, get some notes and pencil ready. Okay, always write it down. It's fine. Okay, so let's take a look. So if you have the book, turn to page sixty one. Okay, page sixty one. So I'm going to find my book too. All right. So this is my page sixty one. So let's listen to. Conversation. Who's he? He's my grandfather. Is he a cook? Is he yes, a cook? he is. Is your father a cook, a cook too? Here? No, he isn't. He's a farmer. Yeah, he's a farmer. Oh, and here comes a lady. Hi, his grandma. His grandma. My grandma is a student. Ah, she was quite surprised, right? Grandma still go to school. Are you okay, Eddie? Eddie, something is wrong with Eddie. Thank you. Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. Goodbye. See you. Okay. Bye. See you. All right. So this is is our book. So I want you to take out your uh here your pen or pencil. Okay. So I want you to circle. Okay. A cook two over here. The P, the comma. Okay, so that's enlarge it right here. Here, do you see the word? Is your father a cook too? So before two, if two is in the end, usually we will have a comma. Mm -hmm. So is your father a cook too? So before two, a comma. Yeah. Okay. So, like you can say, is, are you a student too? Yeah. Okay. So you know how to use it, right? Because this is very easy. All right. And then next page here again, circle. So take your pencil here or pen. So again, circle the comma here. And number nine. Are you okay, Eddie? So here I will enlarge it. So here, are you okay? And then Eddie. So if we call someone. The name put it at the end. We use a comma before the sent before the name. So are you okay, Eddie? And okay, if you for short, it's O K, big O and big K. Okay, remember. So you can also write it down here. Okay, so I'll take my pen. Oops, so no, here. So you can also spell it. Okay, spell it like O. Okay, my handwriting is not very good, so forgive me. Okay, A Y. So you can spell it O K A Y, or you can just write O K for big letters. Okay, so there are two ways to say that. Okay, so two ways to spell it. Sorry. So now let's get back to our book. Okay, so 
here. So say it together. Who's he? Who's he? He's my grandfather. He's my grandfather. A cook. Is he a cook? Is he a cook? Yes, he is. So here, right? Okay, and then. Is your father a cook too? A cook too? No, he isn't. He's a farmer. Yeah, he isn't. He's a farmer. Hi, Grandma. And then here, Grandma just walk in, right? My grandma is a student. My grandma is a student. Okay, and then the next page. Because Eddie is eating, and then suddenly, beep, beep, beep. And then they say, Are you okay, Are you Eddie? Okay, Eddie. And then after the doctor fix it. Okay, so. Thank you. Thank you. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, of course she's a doctor. And then everyone Goodbye. says, Goodbye. Goodbye. And then, See you. See you. Okay, when someone say goodbye, we will say, See you. Or see you soon. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, so usually there are many ways to say goodbye, right? To so respond. When someone say goodbye, you'll have many ways to say to the person. Okay, so now let's take a look. Part D. Read and check. Is he a farmer? Okay, so here, is he a farmer? So it says check. So you are going to check it, not circle, okay, check. So put a check. No, he's a doctor. Or no, he's a cook. Yeah, of course, he's a cook, right? Okay, very good. Did you write it down on your book? And then let's turn to page. 67. Alright, 67. Let's listen first. Is Eddie a doctor? No, he isn't. Is he a teacher? Yes, he is. Alright, so now you can see there are four people here. He is Eddie, and he is Adam, and she is Iris, and she is Una. So now let's listen and then match the picture. Is Eddie a doctor? No, no he isn't. Is he a teacher? Yes, he is. Ah, yes, he is a teacher, right? So that's why you match, draw a line to teacher. Now, how about Adam? Is Adam a student? No, he isn't. Is he a cook? Yes, he is. A cook. So Adam is a cook. So this is not a cook, not a cook, not a cook. Okay, must be the last one. So yeah, match it. Now Iris. Is Iris a teacher? No, she isn't. So, no, not a teacher. Is she a student? A student? Yes, she is. Yes. So now draw lines, a student here. You can see the school bag, right? How about Una? Is Una a nurse? A nurse. No, she isn't. No. Is she a doctor? A doctor? Yes, she is. Ah, so a doctor. So draw lines. So there are only four pictures, right, on top. So that's why no one is a nurse. So you just leave it here. Okay, that is fine. Now, part B, it says, listen, mark, circle, and cross. So, always read the topic. Does it want you to check or circle? So, read carefully. So, here it says, circle or cross, right? So, that's listen. So, the number one. Number one. Is she a farmer? Is she a yes, farmer? Yes, she is. Okay, so yeah. Is she, she a farmer? She dressed yes, like a farmer. she is. Yeah, so the words match the picture. Okay, so that's why we put a circle. That's right, circle. Now, how about number two? Number two. Is she a student? Yes, she is. Is she a student? Is she a student? Yes, she is. Uh, let's take a look. Does she dress like a student? No, she is a nurse. 
So that's why. What do you write? Very good. You write a cross. And then number three. Number three. Is he a cook? No, he isn't. He's a teacher. Okay. Is so. Is he a cook? Is he a cook? No, he isn't. He's a teacher. So he said no, right? He's a teacher. So look at what he has. Okay. So oh, so teacher. So that's why you put a circle. Mm -hmm. Now next one. Number four. Is he a teacher? No, he isn't. He's a nurse. He's. Is a he a teacher? No, he isn't. He's a nurse. All right. So our CD say a nurse. But take a look at the picture. Is he a nurse? Mm, no, he is not a nurse. So we put a cross. Okay. So did you get all right? So check the end. Check the picture or check the page for yourself. You get one hundred. Just write down one hundred. Brilliant. Right. Well done. Okay. So now let's get back to our PowerPoint over here. Okay. All right. So we here. This is our. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to our PowerPoint here. So turn to page. This is page seventy-one. Okay. So let's read it together. This is the phonics section. We talk about you. A ug, 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 So you a uh, okay. So ug uh, bug, you a uh, hurt, and then ug uh, mug and nut. Okay. So these are the four words on our book. Okay, right over here. Okay. So how you say uh, that? Ug uh, ug uh, ug, uh, uh, and then you put the hug ug uh, hug uh, hug, and then how about ut ut ut. Cut. cut. Put it together. Cut. Cut. Okay. Cut. All right. So now this. Let's take a look. We finished the page. Okay. So it's on seventy-one. And now our special guest today. You all seen him in your daily English, but you don't know his name yet. So now you know. His name is what? Jason. He is right here with me, and that's welcome, Jason. Right, and he will explain how to do the phonics quiz. He is going to give you a quiz. So get your note and your pencil ready. Okay, let's start. Okay, so hello, Jason. Okay. Hi, all. Jason here. What I'm going to do is give you five words, and I want you to write down how to spell the phonics word. So, the first word will be um, sun. Sun. That's very easy, Jason. I think they will get it right. I think so too. I hope so. <laughs> so sun. Let's give them like、uh, five seconds, maybe. Five、yeah? seconds. Okay,、sure. five seconds. Okay. So,、uh, five, four, four three, three two, two, one. Okay. Okay. What is your answer? The answer I have is 
Sun. S U N. Yeah, just on the chest. On the That's sun. <laughs> okay? Yes. S U N. Sun. Sun. Very good. So let's try number two. The second one. Next uh, one. Next one. Also easy. The word is bug. 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 So, are you writing it? Yeah, write it down. Write it down. So, again, give you five, five seconds. seconds. Okay, so, five, four, four three, three, two, one. All right, show Jason your answer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll show <laughs> you the answer. answer. All right. Okay. Yes. Bug. B-U-G. Bug. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Over yes. my face. Yes. Okay, number three. Number three. Also easy. The word is but. But. Okay, start with but. But. Uh. But. Okay, so give them five, five seconds. seconds. Okay, five seconds. Five. So five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, so what is your answer? Yes, so show them the answer. But. but. Okay. <laughs> B-U-T. B-U-T, but. but. Okay, good. Right. And right. So then this is number four. four. Question number four. The word is fun. Oh, fun. Um, fun. Very good one. This is a bit difficult, right, everyone? Difficult? So, yeah, I think it's not easy. So. Uh, mm, fun. Okay, so four, uh, five seconds. Uh, mm, okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so right. show Jason your answer. <laughs> and I'll show you. Okay. Okay, fun. Fun. Do F you get it right? U N. Fun. Good. I believe they all got it that right. Probably. Okay. Yeah. And one and more. The last, last one. one. Last one. The word is. The word is. Gum. Gum. All right. G um. G gum. Uh, mm. Okay. Don't forget the last letter. M you have to close your mouth. Okay. Gum. Jason, can you pronounce the third letter? M. 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 Gum. Oh. Okay. So very clear. Very clear. Gum. Okay. So five. Four. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, show Jason your answer. All right. And Jason will show you his. Gum. Gum. G U M. G -U -M. Gum. Okay, so. Can you see? <laughs> yes, they can. They okay. can. They can see it. Okay, good. That's all I had. Five okay, words today. <laughs> okay, so thank you. So everyone. All right. Wait. I. Yeah. Okay. So say goodbye to Jason. Oh. All right. Yeah, see you see sometime you. in daily English. Daily English. Yeah, daily see English. you again. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Hi. Wow. Did you get it all right? These five words. So let's review it, shall we? Okay. So how do you say the word? G, um, gum. Because m in the end, so you have to close your mouth. Hmm, hmm. Just like when your mom cook very delicious food, what do you say? Hmm. Very good. So gum. All right. So say it with me. Gum. Gum. Okay. And our number four is fun. Fun. But the difference between m. Mm and n mm is your lips. When we say n, mm, yeah, we close our lips. Mm. But n, we don't close our mouth. We say n. Mm. So fun. Fun. All right, say it with me. Fun. Fun. Okay, good. Now, the last. This one is pretty easy. Okay, so it's but. 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 Yeah. And this one is bug, bug, b 
book. Book. Easy, right? Okay. And number one, we have this one. I think everyone got it right. Sun. 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 All right. So again, when we say the word n, n, okay, we say n. So don't close your lips. Sun. 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 Okay. So did you get it right? Okay. Right. So now this is. This is all the resources that I have, okay? And thank you for his e-star book too, the e-book. I use it very often. And all the pictures and the reading books are all from these resources, okay? And it's time to say goodbye. I will see you at the same time tomorrow. And guess what? Tomorrow, we have another special guest is going to join us. You will be surprised who she is. Yes, it's a she. So that's all. Say goodbye here. And don't forget, when you go out, always wear your mask. All right? Always put your mask on. Okay? And then, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.